That stabbing attack in the Bronx came just hours after New York Governor Hochul unveiled her five-point plan to try to improve subway security. That includes nearly a thousand National Guard troops and other police officers underground. So how are passengers feeling about this new plan? Do they feel any safer? Riding the subways to get some answers, here's Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett. The first police officers we saw were catching fare beaters at Columbus Circle, where we boarded a crowded number one train uptown. Two stops later, more police officers watching the platforms at 72nd Street. Most trains we rode were crowded. Most riders we spoke with said the stepped up patrols made them feel safer. Craig Isaac was on his way to work aboard a downtown number two train. Do you think it'll make a difference? Yeah, I think it will. Because even just seeing someone, you know, in authority on the trains will probably prevent, you know, any type of crime from down. We crisscrossed the city for nearly four hours today, underground and above ground, from the east side to the west side uptown and downtown, riding half a dozen subway lines through three boroughs. And we saw teams of uniformed police officers in more than half the stations we surveyed, handing out summonses, stepping on and off the trains, checking in with conductors who told us that made them feel less vulnerable. It is important to have them around. We saw parents with their children. Heading to the Bronx, Asus Cirillo told us in Spanish that he takes his kids on the subway because he has no choice. Veronica Rock was riding the 7 train with her daughter, Ruby. You're on the train with your daughter. You obviously must feel it's safe enough. Yeah, I feel it's safe enough, but I also feel like I'm taking a little bit of a risk. At Grand Central, where National Guard soldiers watch the crowds, we found Marlene Onoyeyan waiting to take the LIRR to Queens because she's terrified of the subway. What would it take to get you back in the subway again? To be safe? Um, it would take a lot at this point. I, I don't trust it anymore. We did not find any officers riding the trains today. Carmelo Garcia says he needs to see that. I would like to see them inside the trains doing their rounds, walk up and down. For others, like Christina Gonzalez, seeing so many officers makes her feel anxious. Sometimes it makes me wonder how I should feel. Like, is it somehow it's safer, but also it, it makes me feel worried. In the terminals, random bag checks are ramping up tonight. By the time the rollout is complete, they'll be checking bags in one out of every three subway stations citywide. At Penn Station, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News.